On behalf of the government of Singapore, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to Peru on assuming the pro tempore presidency of the Pacific Alliance. ¿Qué tal mi gente de Istenigmas? Y comenzamos con las noticias. El día de ayer se llevó a cabo una importante ceremonia en la que Perú tomó la presidencia pro tempore de la Alianza del Pacífico. La ceremonia tuvo lugar en un contexto de gran importancia para la región ya que la Alianza del Pacífico es una iniciativa de integración económica que busca fomentar el comercio y la cooperación entre los países miembros y promover el desarrollo sostenible. Durante esta ceremonia, dos potencias asiáticas se hicieron presentes a través de sus ministros de Relaciones Exteriores, como son Corea del Sur y Singapur que expresaron su felicitación y reconocimiento a Perú por asumir esta importante responsabilidad. En sus discursos, los ministros elogiaron el liderazgo de Perú en la Alianza del Pacífico y resaltaron su compromiso en fortalecer los lazos comerciales y económicos entre Asia y América Latina. Reconocieron el potencial de esta iniciativa como un motor para promover el crecimiento económico, fomentar la inversión y facilitar el intercambio comercial en la The Pacific Alliance gathers 40% of the Latin American Caribbean GDP. It is a bloc with, that represents the eighth economic power of the world. The Republic of Korea is promoting the Pacific Indian strategy that contributes actively to freedom, peace, and world prosperity. In this sense, we would like to strengthen the strategic alliance trade relations and investment that is already happening. On behalf of the government of Singapore, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to Peru on assuming the pro tempore presidency of the Pacific Alliance. Now, when we think of Singapore and Latin America, the considerable distance between our regions often comes to mind. Interestingly, the Peruvian city of Pentoja is the antipode of Singapore, meaning that we are literally on the opposite ends of the earth. But yet, despite our physical distance, Singapore and Peru, together with our friends in the Pacific Alliance, have worked closely to bring our regions closer together. Singapore started its journey with the Pacific Alliance as an observer state in 2014 to build closer economic ties between our countries. In January 2022, we signed the Pacific Alliance Singapore Free Trade Agreement, which is a significant and tangible demonstration of our shared commitment to its greater trade and investment. To date, Singapore and Peru have ratified the Free Trade Agreement. We look forward to other members similarly completing their due processes to enable us to bring this FTA into force. 
We are happy to become the first associate state of the Pacific Alliance. As part of the Pacific Alliance family, we hope to strengthen our collaboration to maximize business potential for our respective companies. We also look forward to working with the Pacific Alliance in emerging areas such as the green and digital economies. The Pacific Alliance can count on Singapore as a trusted partner and friend here in Asia. Together, we can advance our shared interests in trade, investment, sustainable development, and our work in partnership to address our current as well as our future challenges. Once again, congratulations to Peru. Singapore looks forward to working with Peru in your capacity as the pro tempore president of the Pacific Alliance to bring our countries, businesses, and our peoples even closer together. Muchos gracias. Con los saludos tanto de los representantes de Corea como de Singapur. Para la República de Corea y a la República de Singapur por los saludos enviados para esta ceremonia.